This is, of course, more of a frontal cut of the uterus. And you can appreciate, again, the uterus here. You can see the fallopian tubes and the fimbri, right? Fallopian tube and fimbri. These are the ovaries suspended by suspensory ligaments and ovarian ligaments. And of course, the broad ligament would be sort of in this area of the green right here. Um, take a look down here. This is the cervix. This particular structure is showing a cervical plug. And the reason there's a cervical plug here is because we've already got an implanted uh, blastocyst right here. So there's an embryo that's developing. Um, this is the reason why you can't get pregnant when you're already pregnant. You can also see, of course, the vagina here. Now, the ovary in this particular case is showing ovulation. So this is a released egg, in effect. And then all these other little guys represent ovarian follicles at different stages. We'll have to look at these histologically to see the difference. So this is a, essentially a uterus that is not receptive to sperm. This structure is the beginning of the corpus luteum which is a gland that will be producing progesterone, which will maintain the lining of the uterus, which will help uh, this embedding egg, or I should say embryo. Now, if we take a look here, this is the actual ovulation process. And you can appreciate how the egg has been released here. And it's actually being fertilized right here by this little sperm. These are actually the sperm from hell. Obviously, sperm are not this large. They look more like tadpoles. Okay, so. Now, up the vagina it goes through the cervix. You can appreciate it. There's no cervical plug here. So the mucus of the cervix is nice and um, watery so that the sperm can travel through, right? And of course, some of these sperm are going to go the opposite direction. Some of them are going to get it right. In reality, there's just a very, very few sperm that make it to the egg, um, just maybe a few dozen sperm out of literally millions and millions. Okay, so again, we see the suspensory ligament and the ovarian ligament and the ovary, right? The fimbri, the fallopian tube, the um, uterus, the fundus of the uterus right here on top, and of course we have the vagina and the cervix. This area here where the sperm are actually collecting a little bit, although that's not represented well, this is the fornix right in this region.